class we are going to learn how to create a restful web service with the help of integration or in other words how we can expose our integration as a restful web service to a external consumers before going ahead with the hands on let's see oracle documentation for the same so that you can troubleshoot if you encounter any issues while creating the connection or building the integration i am here in the official documentation page by oracle for oracle integration 3 that is using the rest adapter with oracle integration 3 from the table of content oracle has documented each and every document for creating the rest adapter what are the concepts how we can use it as a trigger invoke trigger invoke both how we can troubleshoot the common issues what are the common patterns which are being used in rest adapters those things so you can have a look over here if you get stuck anywhere while practicing the class or implementing your project now let's go back to our oracle integration 3 instance in order to expose our integration as a restful web service to the external consumers first of all we need to have a connection created with the role as trigger so let's create that click on the create button on the right top corner here we need to search for rest it's over here select this provide the name i will give over here demo trigger rest underscore con in the role we will select trigger in our next class we will learn about invoke as well as in the subsequent classes about trigger and invoke role as well so as of now we will select this trigger so if we select the role as trigger then we will be able to use this connection as a starting point of a integration suppose if we select this as a invoke then we cannot use those connections which are configured with the invoke role as a starting point for integration so in that case you cannot expose your integration as a restful web service with this connection so only if you create it as a trigger then only you can make it as a starting point for an integration or as a triggering point select this trigger and click on create i will keep everything default if you want you can just retest again and go back if you get such kind of pop-up to save click on save you yeah, are done so our connection creation part is completed that is we have created a demo trigger rest connection with the type as rest and it is having a role as trigger now let's go back to the integration screen we don't have any integrations created as of now let's create a fresh integration in order to expose it as a restful web service click on this create button we have to select this application provide the name i am giving here demo expose as a rest service trigger this is optional if you want you can put or you can just ignore click on this create i will change the view of this instead of vertical i will make this as horizontal again it's a personal choice how you want to have your layout so i prefer horizontal now if you just hover over this start you will get a plus symbol click on this here you will get the list of all the connections which are configured with the trigger role select this connection which we have created just now we will provide the name we can provide this name as a trigger rest endpoint you can name as per your project standards click on next over here here it will ask what your rest connection will do or the operation in this use case we will consider this integration wherein we will send the country's name and we will get the official name of that country back that is for example if we consider the wikipedia page for india so official name of india is republic of india so what we will do is we will create the integration rest web service in which we will pass in input india and in the response we will get republic of india so this use case we will consider for this class so here i am going to write as this service returns official name of country then here we will name this as endpoint slash country and we will have one template parameters over here with the name as country's name so endpoint i will name this as a get if you want to use that as a post you can use it as well wherein you can send the message in the body so in get i am making use of this template also you can make use of the query parameters i hope you already know those concepts of restful web service like what is the template parameter or a path parameter and what is the query parameter i will keep everything as default and also i will configure this as to receive the response click on next here it is asking do you want to create the query parameters i don't want to create any query parameter as of now 
in the response it is asking us to select the sample so i want the response as a json so here there will be an option to provide the inline json click on this here i will write one json message here i will name again the name name means the official name yeah, this is one of the samples which i have pasted click on ok done click on next and i will keep everything as default in rest of the cases and click on done I will just zoom out so that we can get the clear picture of this entire flow. We yeah, are done. So what we have done is we have created this connection. Then we have consumed as a trigger endpoint in our integration. So we are getting the name of the country in the input. In the response, we will send the official name of the country. So for this class, I am considering sending back the official country's name with the help of Mapper. But in the next class, we will make use of some other third party REST API. We will make a call over here in between the mapper and the trigger point wherein we will pass the name of the country to that service and in the response whatever we get the official name that we will map so for this class i will just use the mapper over here and we will assume that the user will always send india in this case so in our next class we will create for all the countries expand the response wrapper so here right, right click over here in the name node that is right click over here and click on this create target node here I will hard code this with the help of the single quotes. So we will go back to this Wikipedia page, copy Republic of India and paste it over here. Click on validate, then validate the mapper. Suppose if you want to test the mapper before activating the integration is always good practice to make sure your mapper works fine. Click on this generate the inputs so that it can generate a dummy input. In our case, we don't have any mapping from input source to the target. So, we will directly straight away click on this execute. In any case, we have to give Republic of India as a message back. We are assuming that the user is always providing India as an input. Let's go back. So, our integration creation part is completed. Click on save. Next thing is we have to add here business identifier. Click on this. Expand this template parameter. Template parameter is also known as a path parameter if you Google RESTful Web Services. Just drag and drop it over here. So, business identifiers are useful in order to track your instances in the monitoring tab. That is to track all the instances, the flow and all. We can make use of this business identifier. Click on save. Let's go back. Let me activate this integration. I am selecting debug as we want entire payload to be visible in the audit trail when we check in the monitoring. So, click on activate button. Our integration is getting activated. So, the status is showing as activation in progress. Let me just refresh and check the status. Yeah, now it is active. So, in order to test any RESTful web service, what you can do is you can click on this and click on run. So, we are having a testing option right from the integration instance. We don't have to use any other tools like Postman in order to test the RESTful web services built with integration. Now, in the name, I will put any name, but I will put India over here because in the use case, we had considered that we are assuming user is inputting always the country name as India as we have hot coded in the mapper, the official name of the country that is Republic of India. So, in our next class, we will make this dynamic and click on run. When you click on run, in the response we are getting official name of the country that is Republic of India. Now, if you want to know what and all things happened in the transformations within the integration flow, we can click over here and see what is the starting message we got. If we just expand, we will know what was the input sent by the user. If you see over here, the request sent by the user is India, that is slash country slash India. This was the input which it can come with the triggering message. Now, what is the message it has transformed? So, this was in the mapper we had done that Republic of India we had hard coded in the mapper. So, this is how we can build RESTful web services with the help of integration. As we have used the business identifier, I will show you in the observability over here. Go to integrations. Also, you can go for instances as well. Now, here if you see, we are having one count for the integration. As we have only one integration in this instance, I will click on this received. So, here if you see, we had added this name as a business identifier, it has come over here. So, we are having three business identifier option to add for any integration. So, one will visible over here, which is the primary, rest two will come over here. 
so we had left it blank so it is coming as empty now if you want to know the audit trail just click on this i button you will get all the audit trail which we had seen earlier in this class so you can click on this and copy download whatever you can do if you want to track the instances with the help of instance id then you can straight away come to here and provide the instance id if you want to search based on the integration you can go to integration and search based on integration so both the things you can do with the help of observability